Auto DXF version 6 is compatible with Inventor 2025 and incorporates new features designed to enhance productivity when working with sheet metal components in Inventor. This version introduces a new system of program presets, allowing you to save different configurations of program settings. This feature is particularly useful when working with multiple vendors for sheet metal production that require varying formats of exported files, or when in-house production demands different export formats for specific downstream uses. Each preset contains settings for file processing, file naming, DXF texts, and layer setups, and can be easily transferred between different computers. To create a new preset, simply click the New Preset button and enter a name for the preset. By default, presets are read-only to prevent accidental edits, but you can change the output folder even in read-only mode. To make changes to other settings, check the Edit checkbox to enable editing, make the desired changes, and save them to the preset. The last active preset used will be automatically loaded the next time you run AutoDXF. To transfer presets to another computer, use the Open Settings folder and copy the subfolders into the Settings folder on the target computer. Another new feature is the ability to create material lists. Clicking this button generates gross and net lists of material areas for selected components. The net list represents the sum of flat pattern areas, while the gross list represents the sum of flat pattern extents by material and thickness combinations. You can copy the material list to the clipboard and paste it into applications like Excel. AutoDXF version 6 now also supports exporting STEP files, allowing you to export 3D models of bent parts or flat patterns to STEP format. File naming system is the same as for DXF or DWG export. Step export settings, such as version, file extension, and metadata, can be configured in the new general settings dialog. Furthermore, certain program settings have been relocated to this dialog and the settings menu to streamline the user interface. Lastly, a new layer has been added to contain unconsumed sketch construction geometry, making it possible to export construction and non-construction geometry from unconsumed sketches to separate layers. Visit AutoDXF webpage to download a free trial or purchase the full version of AutoDXF.